Hi everyone, today we want to talk a little bit about why Roth IRAs are so awesome. And I've got a great little example for you to share with you why that is the case. So here we go. I want you to think about how we normally save money for retirement. So normally, what are we doing? We're putting money, whoops, here we go, into like a 401k, a 403b, you know, those types of things. And let's think a little bit about how the taxes work though when we're doing that type of activity. Now there are three different times that we can pay taxes, right? There's three different levels, if you will, of when you pay tax. And I like to call them M, G, and T. And in case you're wondering what those stand for, it's pretty simple. It's when you make the money, grow the money, take the money out, right? So I'm going to say it again. When you make the money, grow the money, and then take the money out. Make the money, grow the money, take the money out, right? That's the different times in which you can be taxed. Now, the reason that we have used these 401ks and 403bs and 457s, and by the way, I could have also said what? I could have said IRAs, right? The reason we've used these historically is because of the way taxes work. So when you put money in, when you make the money today and you deposit money into these accounts, we can give you a nice big, big green check mark, meaning, yay, congratulations, you get a tax deduction today, which is fantastic, right? Well, what about when you grow the money? So here it is, you put the money in and it grows over time. Guess what? Another green check mark. Yes, good news, no tax on the growth. That's fantastic, right? How, but there's no such thing as a free lunch. You gotta pay tax at some point. And when do you pay tax on these types of uh, financial uh, tax shelters, if you will? Well, guess what? You're gonna pay tax at the end when you take the money out, big red X there. Now, this is a fantastic environment though. We've learned that over the years. Your money grows very effectively when you're in this kind of an environment. And to give you an idea of how effectively it grows, here's a little example. Let's imagine, let's use green. Let's imagine that you are 30 years old, $5,000 a year into a 401k or an IRA or for one of these types of things. If you do the math and let's say you work all the way until you're 65 before you retire. If you do the math, 5,000 a year times, you know, all those years, what do you get? You get a tax deduction on, here you go, ready for it? $180,000. Who wants to deduct taxes on 180 k I do, right? That's a fantastic outcome. Now, you've had, gosh, 30 years plus of growth here. What could you expect this account to be? What could it be worth? Well, if you assume an 8% rate of return, which is what the market averages historically, you are sitting on approximately, as Dr. Evil would say, $1 million. Ha, huh, sweet. You invest 180, you get tax deductions on it, it grows to $1 million. That's fantastic. Ah but not so fast. We do have to recognize that at some point you start taking that money out. What happens when you start taking this money out? Well, here's the thing. Every dollar that comes out, you're gonna pay tax on all of it, right? You're gonna pay tax on all, of, every dollar that comes out, you're paying tax on it. And any money left in there, when you die, your beneficiaries pay tax on it, but it's worse than just that. This is what they don't tell you. What nobody tells you is that as you're taking this money out, not only are you paying tax on those distributions, but odds are very high that it's going to force you to pay more tax on other parts of your income, such as Social Security. So great, you pay tax on the money as it comes out, you know that, but what you don't know, what's kind of a gotcha is, oh, you also have to pay more tax on your social security. So you're really getting double taxed 
as that money's coming out. Now, the topic of today, though, is not about this stuff. What is it about? We're talking about Roth IRAs. So how are Roth IRAs a little bit different? Well, let's put a Roth IRA, let's make it blue, right down here. Let's say Roth. And remember, we want to talk about why are Roth IRAs or Roth 401ks so awesome? Because here's what's really cool in today's world. Every single one of these accounts, let's move that up a little bit. Every one of these accounts, 401k, 403b, IRA, they all, for the most part, have Roth options now. Now, what is the difference between a Roth 401k and a regular 401k? Or a Roth 403b and a regular 403b? A Roth IRA and a regular IRA? What is the difference between them? Well, it has to do with our three times. Make the money, grow the money, take the money out. With a Roth IRA or Roth 401k, when do you pay tax? You pay the tax up front after tax dollars go in. However, once the money's in there, tax-free growth, tax-free distributions. How? When I say tax-free distributions, I'm not talking about, yeah, but you still pay more tax on your Social Security. I'm talking about the kind of distribution where the money comes out and the IRS doesn't even ask you to show it on your tax return because they don't care, right? They're like, it has no impact on anywhere in your tax return ever when you take it out. Well, at least in today's tax code. So think about this. Why are Roth IRAs so awesome? Well, how about this? What would you rather get a tax break on? Would you rather get a tax break on 180000 or would you rather get a tax break on a million? I don't know about you, but hey, I'll tell you what. I'm ha I'll pay tax on that number if I can get that number tax-free. And I mean truly tax-free. That, my friends, is why Roth IRAs are so cool. It's kind of like this. It's kind of like with all of these traditional plans, you are saving tax on your seed, but you pay tax on the harvest. At a later point in time, when tax rates are probably higher. With a Roth, you are going to pay tax on the seed, but you're going to get the harvest tax-free, normally at a time when tax rates are higher, right? Let's pay tax on the smaller number. Let's get the bigger number tax-free. That's why they're so awesome. And it's not just that. With a traditional plan up here, guess what? You have to be 59 and a half years old, generally speaking, before you touch that money or you pay penalties. Not only do you pay tax, you pay even more tax, right? Ah! And by the way, there are a couple ways to get a little bit sooner than that, but that's the general rule. Please don't ask me why it's 59 and a half. Why didn't they just say 60? But whatever. So with the Roth IRA, all you have to worry about is five years. Five-year rule. As long as you satisfied the five-year rule, guess what? You get to pull your money out whenever you want, tax-free, no penalties. You could be 35 years old because you started when you were 28. It's awesome, right? It's fantastic. It's more liquid. It's better tax rules. It is a tax-free investment world. Take advantage of this stuff. Take advantage of it. The Roth IRA, Roth 401k, Roth 403b, they are, if God could have given a gift to your retirement planning, this is the gift he would have given, right? It is fantastic. So make sure you're taking advantage of them. And by the way, everybody's different. Every one of you are different, right? There are some situations where Roth does not make sense. They are the minority, the overwhelming majority. You should be putting money in Roth. That's for the overwhelming majority of people. Not everybody, but the overwhelming majority, at least that I've seen. All right, gang, that's our discussion on Roth IRAs. Hope you enjoyed it.